You didn't think the day would come, did you? You were like, nah, she's only gonna make Amberlynn videos. I'm never gonna see what happens with Big Rose and Ed. That's a new one. But you're in luck because I'm in the mood for some mayonnaise. And I'm vegan, so that should tell you enough. Last night, Rose and I got into a big fight because I didn't tell her before I came on this trip that I don't want more kids. And then this morning, she told me it's over. I love Rose, and I don't want our relationship to end like this. You should have thought about that before lying. Isn't it funny how they always feel sorry after the girl leaves? When the girl throughout the relationship was always so patient and gave him so many chances, they always push her right to the end, to her limits, and then they're sad she left? Nah, -uh, move along. So, I'm gonna go back to our room and um, see if she'll talk to me. Isn't she at the airport already? She's gone. Her stuff's gone. She's really gone. Oh my god, she's such a legend. Isn't it so funny? Wait. Isn't it so funny that um, the camera crew knew she wasn't there? <laughs> but they couldn't tell him because TV. So he was like, I'm gonna go check on her. The camera crew must have been like... Mm. She said she wanted to leave, but she didn't even say goodbye. I'm sorry. Hop deserve a goodbye. Hell, you don't deserve an ounce of respect. That's what I'm talking about. He thinks she was like giving him an empty threat. I want to leave. She wants to leave. And Ed, your explanation should be written right in front of you. You caused it. You, you with your bare hands. You've caused it. She don't owe you nothing. <sighs> it just hit me. It just hit me the consequences of my actions. Look, here comes a consequence, 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 consequences of my actions chasing me right now. I don't want no consequence, consequence, consequence. I don't want no consequences chasing me right now. <laughs> this is probably the first Time in my life, I've laughed when someone is crying. Jesus is the consequence, 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 Jesus is the consequence, it's happening right now. You know what? I don't even think he's crying because she left. Because that was the inevitable outcome. He should have known that was coming. If he has a tiny bit of brain left. Knowing Ed, I think he's crying because this isn't the way he wanted the relationship to end. Let alone the fact she ended the relationship and not him. 28 years is a long time to be single. And then you find something that you think is real. How is it real? How was it ever real? How was it real? How was it? How? You've lied to her throughout the whole relationship. How could it have been real? Your lies would have caught up to you in the end. And then you find something that you think is real to later find out that it's not. <laughs> what? To later find out that it's not. Look at his face. Look at it. He's genuinely puzzled. To think you found something real and then to find out it's not? The sad thing is, on Rose's part, it was real, bro. How did he manage to... Man, that takes a lot of skill. How did he manage to make Rose at fault? Yeah, now I find out the relationship isn't real. I really, ro I, I really Rose. <laughs> I genuinely hope Rose comes for him in the tell-all. Okay, now Ed is back, apparently, and he's meeting his mom. I've never seen Ed's mom. How's Rose? He's like, no way. No way, you messed it up, no way. Rose is out. <laughs> Rose is out. Yeah, she's, no Rose, no, no love. Rose. I am so happy for Rose, oh my God. She has dodged a bullet and I am so happy for her and she's a princess and she deserves everything in life. Oh. I'm so sorry, thank you. And let me just mention, this dog. So cute. Not you crying right now. The audacity to cry. He's making his mom think that Rose left for no reason. It's for the best. It was for the 
is so excited. It makes me feel sad that things didn't work out for him. Come on, let's go. Let's go home, buddy. But um, this situation was a little bit scary. Okay, the mom is so cute. Wait. I love her so much. I want to give her a hug. And there was a lot of doubts in my mind. How can you fall in love with somebody online? Yes, you can fall in love um, through the internet. You definitely can. I just don't know if it was the case for Ed and Rose. And please, let's talk about how the dog is holding a flower. In love with somebody online. I think he had set his hopes up way too high. I don't think his hopes were way too high. I just think he's a POS. He treated her like garbage. If his mom saw how her son's behaving, not only to Rose, but to Rose's family, she would disown him. So no, I don't think his hopes were too high. I just think she left because he didn't deserve her. This is kind of making Rose look like she just left when it's not the, it's not the truth. She's definitely not the bad person in this situation, mama. So what happened with Rose? I wanted to ask her to marry me and then bring her over on a K-1 visa. But I asked her, you know, what she wants in, out of our relationship. And that's when she told me, you know, she wanted two kids. I'm not even ready to be a father to Prince, let alone, you know, father two more kids at 54 years old. I'm not even ready to be a father to Prince. Prince is Rose's son. Ed, these two come together. Why did you even start a relationship with a woman who has a kid if you can't be a father to that kid? What do you expect her to do with the kid? To be a father to Prince, let alone, you know, father two more kids at 54 years old. When I told her I didn't want more kids, that upset her. Unbelievable. This man, this man, she told you her expectations before you even met. She told you online she wants two more kids, Ed. You told her you don't want more kids two days ago. He's making it look to, to uh, his mom. He's making it look like it's Rose's fault. In the end, it was too much for her mom. It was too many. She didn't think I trusted her. Does that make sense? You told her to take an STD test, man. Of course it made sense she didn't didn't trust you. You've shown you don't trust her. And for what? Whatever, ugh. I hate being single again. I had the best chance at love. And I, I screwed up. Finally, finally, words of honesty come out of you. I really hope his mom watches this episode and hears her son saying, Rose is out because I screwed up. Because he didn't tell her that. He gave her the impression it's Rose's fault. And knowing that, you know, your daughter is mad at you and never wants to talk to you again, it's, that's been really hard for me to deal with. Y'all didn't catch that, did you? His license plate, his license plate, his license plate says Big Ed. This guy actually adores himself. There you go. Thank you. Hey, so I thought we would uh, go somewhere, take a walk. Okay. I just want to point out, if I had a dad like this, I'd be mad embarrassed to be on TV. Yeah, it just kind of blew up in my face. I tried to warn you. I'm so, what did she try to warn him about? I don't know what the daughter said. I don't know. If she tried to warn him about Rose as a person, she can shove that opinion. What happened here is your dad's fault. This relationship could have worked out if he was a better guy. Rose was putting up with stuff that no other girl would have put up with. I had to do it. I had to um, follow through, you know? And I know I didn't listen to you. I didn't really understand why you're so upset. I was upset that you're old enough to be your dad. And I was just like, what are you doing? 23? I'm 29. What do you have in, what do you have in common with her? Like, I just. Okay, if that was the warning, I'll accept that. You're right, he is too old to be your dad. He's too old to be your grandpa. But honestly, Rose was mature enough to handle a relationship with an older guy. It's just that your dad might be old, 
but he's literally 15. So if anyone was dating someone who's younger than them, it's Rose. But for what it's worth, I'm sorry for not listening, you know, to you. And the fact that I hurt you. His apologies are never sincere in my opinion. He just apologizes to get what he wants. I'm just glad Rose didn't fall for it anymore. Now here's a thought. If him and Rose were to stay together, would he still have apologized to his daughter? Would he still have tried to mend the relationship? I appreciate that. I'm human. I know. I'm a dumbass. Ooh. Can we just replay that? Human. I know. I'm a dumbass. Mm, yeah, that's what I like to hear, yeah. Can we do that one more time? I'm human. I know. I'm a dumbass. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a human. Yeah, I owe the absolute satisfaction of hearing that. I can guarantee you she's holding her breath. Okay, that is all for Rose and Ed, I think. I hope. I know there's a tell-all and I cannot wait to watch that, so we're gonna do that soon. Have an incredible day, go eat something, uh, hug your pets, and I'll see you next time.